uh, Jay Harwood with a special edition of um, Unle- Maisie Mets Alumni Podcast here with uh, you know Michael Mays, my, my good friend. Michael, a couple of days have passed and the most time is a game. What was your emotions with the whole day after everything happened? Oh, man. Everybody did such a good job on every level and the, the, so many things coming together, the, the surprise having all the guys here at the same time um the familiarity like like a almost like an odor of it the mets generations new york generations of baseball it was still trying to process it what was you know your dad has accomplished so much in his career you know i mean and i i don't want to be pretend to be as close but we were friendly through the years and every time i used to see him he used to ask you know when is the club going to retire my number but why, why do you think it meant so much to him to, to do that? Well, it's, you know, it's a forever thing. He, can't, he comes from New York originally, team-wise, fan-wise, right? Um, then the same kind of effect in California. So I, I just think he feels like it, it was, you know, something that should have been done. It's kind of like when he got the Congressional Medal of Honor. When they looked into it, I think Barack Obama's response was, he doesn't have that yet? Like. I thought that was done a long time ago. <laughs> and, and, you know, I mean, people say, you know, I mean, I'm a diehard Willie Mays fan. I'm a, he's my idol growing up, full disclosure, you know. Uh, so people say, you know, the soothsayers say that uh, you know, only he's with the Mets a year and a half. Uh, why retire his number? And my response is what he meant to baseball, what he meant to the game, what he meant to everything. And it transcends, in fact, that he got a big hit to help us win a World Series in 73, and what he meant to the city of New York. I mean, I mean, just that was what our point of view. Yeah, uh, I'm a New Yorker, so, you know, I, I heard that kind of stuff. You know, the, uh, uh, a lot of New York press felt that, that, that the, uh, pretty much more than half felt that was an absurd position. Um, I was young, but uh, old enough to remember 73. Uh, so he shows up. He's a home run his first time at bat. Right. He, he, he's, he's obviously on so many levels a driver to that series. He can't even qualify the clubhouse effect no as question. by defined in any generation, right? And uh, so it's not just any two years, right? Um, there's also the New York thing. Um, in, in, in the coming full circle and whatever momentum that gave baseball at the time. Um, so, yeah, it was, I think it was a wacky, uneducated position. Right. He only played here two years. What's that mean? What, who were you most happy to see at the old as a game you had? Ed Cranepool, Matlock, Felix Beyond, Cleon. Definitely, definitely Ed Cranepool. Um, Cleon, was, it, was, it was great to see him and, and – uh, he talked about in the press conference um, right. the locker room effect in those years. Um, so I would default to his comments on that. Yeah, I mean, and I know uh, one of the things that's important to Willie now is his foundation. What is he hoping to do to expand something in New York in the future? Or, you know, what, what, what kind of kids did you, children did you reach out to with his foundation? So, you know, he's always been about kids in, in, the, in the polo ground days. You know, he would stop on the street and do his thing, play stickball, whatever right. it was, ice cream. Um, that's always been the way. So it, he's kind of local to what he does. Um, he's done boys and girls clubs and things in San Francisco. I know he is uh, always interested and focused on helping kids that are underserved, wherever they may be. Um, and I know he has a lot of love for and intention to doing things in, in terms of back home, where he comes from. In, so, uh, in Fairfield. It's remarkable how many uh, old, old uh, Hall of Fame players come from Alabama. Oh, my God. From uh, all sports. From all sports. It's and, crazy. You know, Cleon is building statues in Mobile, too. I think it's McCovey, Satchel Pays, Ozzy Smith, uh, God, I, I'm Billy Williams, and I mean, and, 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 and I said McCovey. I mean, there, he's Cleon's building a. Uh, like a, a field of dreams in Alabama, you know. I mean, he does remarkable, you know, remarkable work. He and his wife Angela are out 
building roofs and houses all the time. And, and uh, what was your, you know, what do you remember? Were you about 14 years old or something in 73? Yeah. What do you, what do you remember most about this, the, that year with him? Uh, just the Shay coming to the park, you know, what more, <laughs> I, uh, you know, I went to school here and uh, um, I asked, could I bring some, some kids to the game? And we came in a bus, <laughs> um, just being in the clubhouse. Um, just, you know, baseball in New York being, being part of, of, you know, the franchise was still relatively new, so a lot of excitement and, and kind of National League energy transferring, you know, back into New York. So it was, it was a great time. Did you go to the World Series in 73? Were we able to go? Uh, yeah, we, we did all, all the stuff. And, and um, I had a little stun as a bat boy in those days, too, so I was in the building quite a bit. <laughs> What what uh, I'm afraid we would lost four four games to three, but he still got a big hit in game two. If exactly, I remember. I remember. Did you did you think he would ever? I mean, how was his feeling? He wanted to come back to New York, right? At the end, as the story I heard it. Yeah, I don't think he's never really left. In in some ways, is the point. Kind of like what the whole meaning of all this is. He's is he's always been a part of both of these cultures. Do you? Who was your? favorite guy to watch aside from your dad in 73 uh well if you gave me a year back i'd say roberto but yeah. uh <laughs> yeah um like in 73 yeah i was i um you know other guys on the team you know, on the team you know i was a i was a fan of pretty much the, all the mets i as i hated every dodger and you know okay. me too <laughs> did you did you get to know tom siever at all i or? did i did um yeah Great. Yeah. I was that. Uh, to me, to me, to me, the best. Too, you're too young to remember. I think it was '63 or '64. The Mets and Giants played a 32 innings on a Sunday, and Willie wound up playing shortstop. The second <laughs> game of the doubleheader. I'm, I, you were there. You I, remember that? I was there. All 32 innings. I mean, I started with the Mets April 1st, 1980. Up until then, I was a diehard Giant fan. I used to go to Philadelphia to watch a play. I got his autograph outside of uh, the, in Philadelphia, waited before the bus. So I was, a, you know, I, I, you know, Jim Ray Hart, Willie McCovey, Sepena, Marichal, uh, Johnny Antonelli, the whole bit. So I mean, that was my, that was my team. And I, everybody said, "Would you become a Mets fan?" It's April first, nineteen eighty. I was rooting against the Mets the whole, the whole time. But, but, uh, did you do you remember any by play with Yogi or anything? Or, uh, just stories, you know, and. <laughs> how the team's coached as opposed to, you, you know, another interesting thing about Dad's career is that kind of uh, the on-field management thing he always had going, like the uh, kind of a generalship right. of, of, of the field and the game um, and how that uh, was reinforced or, or not by different managers over yeah. the years. So, yeah, the, there's some great stories from the Yogi years. <laughs> Do you, uh, I mean, you, you spent a lot of time in Frisco with him now, trying to. Yeah, 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 yeah. Do you, tell us about yourself. You're involved with TV work yourself, right? I mean. Yeah, I've, I've been broadcast most of my life, um, which is why this is awkward. I spend most of my time on the other side of the yeah. camera. Um, yeah. You just came back working in Little League World Series, right? Yeah. Oh, uh, the, they're not kids. They take men and shrink them. Like, they have all yeah. the mannerisms, every, <laughs> it's my favorite gig, hands down, Little League. Well, I mean, but we did the classic there, and and those things. Uh, yeah, um, Bravo you, MLB for all of this current stuff. Field of Dreams. You were classic. in Field. You were in, in, in Iowa too. Yeah, but the, the, I didn't work the job. But I'm saying that this kind, these kind of projects, I think, right. is really amazing for baseball as well. Yeah, digress for a second. I know your dad had a nice conversation with Steve Cohn, and 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 I know, you know, again, Steve, you know. I mean, what he did was really fulfilled the promise, a 50-year-old promise. And I mean, I mean, Mex fans were you know, the best part about this whole thing. We we did it was a surprise that people didn't know, which was I think people were shocked. And you know, when it when, it's hard to keep a secret. In New York, I was going right? to say that's not something that's easy to do with yeah. the Mets. Yeah, I mean, and we're, we're, we're anybody. It's a tough <laughs> thing, you know. And, and the response was 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 just tremendous. But do you, you know, hopefully next time I know Willie had with a hip replacement or a hip yeah, yeah, maybe God willing he's uh, able to travel next year. Well, that was his intention this time. So, yeah, um, just timing. Yeah, uh, but 
he's strong and 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 you know he's Willie Mays. <laughs> Did you get a chance to spend much time with his teammates? I mean, they, I that think. was the best part. Like, I think if, if we had done this at a different time, it, I would have felt even more out of place. But because it was guys that kind of raised me, I grew up with. In some, right. some cases, it was it, that made it all really special for me. Yeah, and, and, and for it, I think. Yeah, the good group. I mean, I know we're, Ed and Willie were especially close. I know Ed had a chapter, part of his book. I know when John Shea wrote the book, yeah, yeah. You know, we had a chapter in the book and. Uh, um, let me. How long did you realize? You know, when did you realize how great your father was? I mean, was it? Uh, so you know, I used to tell a story in Boys and Girls Club. You know, he's got those uh, mitts, with big giant hands. Right. And uh, driving the car, I was a little baby, whatever, three, four years old. He'd put me on his lap, you know, up to the side or whatever, and I'd touch the wheel, you know, and then he'd be driving, and then they'd, they'd do this thing where he'd be talking with both of his hands and. Uh, uh, not driving, driving with his knees. Those people do that drive with his knees, and I yeah. didn't know. So I remember looking at him thinking, no wonder everybody says my daddy's magic. He can drive with no hands. Yeah, that's pretty But yeah, that, that was like the thing. Like everywhere you went, like, uh, no, your money's no good. Yeah. This one maze. He's, so yeah, I kind of was born into his. He was already a giant. Hey. <laughs> did, 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 did you, um, I mean, did you go to, to many events with him and walked away from the field? I mean, when did you, did you start doing anything in, you know, like, to the, the charity things he would go to? Did you ever go along with him and any of that stuff? Oh, yeah. yeah over, the, over the years, quite a bit of stuff. It's always one amazing thing after another. That's, the, I mean, that's the great part about being a son is, is hearing the stories people tell or, uh, you know, getting to see the kind of events and, and, and love, the, the, the inspiration, you know, especially like stuff like hospital visits and, right. you know, to see people physically um, uplifted. It's incredible. What do you remember most about the day he retired in City Field? I mean, Chase Stadium. Do you remember? Were you there that night? Oh yeah. Yeah. Uh, being out on the field like that, you know, all those people, that was crazy. Like I, I remember thinking, how do you play in this environment? Like it was though, like a lot of people can play baseball, but till you turn the lights on. <laughs> I I uh, I've been with the Mets for 42 years. You know, I worked All Star games, World Series, playoff game. And I can never remember the stadium as being as electric as it was last that Saturday. Yeah, it was, and and I didn't expect so many people that early. It was yeah. baseball gods looking out for you. Yeah, it was just a con, con, what's the word? Con, forget, whatever it was. I mean, of all the events, and and I think the retirement really just sparked. Uh, you know, I mean, I saw people in the stands crying. To be honest with you, you know, they had it on the clip. Yeah. The, they 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 show a guy. Uh, yeah. yeah we, we, <laughs> but what what other events might you get to work in the future now? I mean, would you, you know, anything crazy? Um, yeah, you know, I might be here for your World Series if you get that together. Knock on wood. Like, Knock on wood. Like, sounds like a, like a good plan. Yeah. Um, do a little bit of U.S. Open in the end. I'll do some finals maybe. Um, but, yeah, right now I'm really focused on, on um, trying to be local, work, working out in California um, with and around him, you know, so we can – you know, get him back to his hundred percent. Just sit up people like he's getting better, right? And not God would he's... absolutely. I mean he's he's you know, it it's yeah, he's he's ninety one. Um but but uh yeah he's on a, a the sixty five year old track. Yeah. <laughs> I I remember the first, you know, I re I remember sitting in my father's my little apartment in, in uh New Jersey, nineteen fifty four. Vic Voyage is a bat for Cleveland, it's a bull to center field, makes this catch. And people say the throw is better than the catch. That was that one of my first memories of. Uh, I just liked the way he played. You know, played with such enthusiasm and excitement, and you know, and and, and I didn't. You know, it seems to be no pretense about him at all. No BS about him at all. Well, I think just just uh, understanding not just the game, but who you're playing the game for. I mean, yeah. the, 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 we are in the entertainment business. I think we, you know, there. I've heard some smarter people than me say that, you know, we, we're kind of losing that right. understanding. We're kind of uh, looking like we're coming to work when right. at the end of the day, it's the entertainment business. So I think that had a little real knack for that, for understanding yeah. what the fans wanted and being yeah. blessed to give it to them. You know, what I'm proud of my, you know, I switched jobs a couple of years ago. I was a regular PR guy and I'm an, an alumni PR because I'm an older PR guy. And I just one of the things that makes me happy is kind of 
reuniting people who, for lack of a word, weren't part of the organization, you know, we're bringing them. It doesn't have to be the willing, I mean, the, the average Joe, like when we had 65 guys in the field, they were, you know, the guys who might have been the 23rd guy in the team, they came back and get here. I think it's important to reunite the present with the past, and that's what I'm trying to do in my limited position, and, you know, we're not on the scale of your father, but just to kind of bridge the gap and get, bring people back in the family. I think oh, it's important. Right. Hats off to you, Jay, because you may have redefined the position with this uh, one. This is, <laughs> you uh, did a good job. Well, I appreciate all you've done. You're a good friend, and let's stay in touch. And, uh, you know, hopefully next year we can get Willie back here in some form, you know, to a game or something. You're here. Thanks, Mike. Appreciate your time. Appreciate you. Thanks.